There's an island off the coast of Antarctica that's strangely owned by Norway. The reason this is so odd is that unlike some other nations, this island seems completely random and out of the way from the other territories that Norway has. Just for some scale, the capital of Svalbard, which is a Norwegian territory, is 2,000 kilometers away from Oslo. Meanwhile, Bouvet Island is over 12,000 kilometers away from Oslo. So how and why did Bouvet Island become a part of Norway anyways? Bouvet Island was first discovered in 1739 by a French sailor by the name of Jean-Baptiste Charlet Bouvet de Lozé. As you could probably guess, this island was named after him. He never set foot or circumnavigated the island, meaning that it wasn't certain if this was an island or a part of something much bigger. For the part that he saw, he gave it the name Cap de la Circoncision. No, seriously, that's what he named it. Unfortunately, Bouvet didn't accurately map where the island was, causing future searches for the island to be unsuccessful. Because of this, it wasn't until 69 years later that it was seen again. This time, an English captain of a company ship saw it. The only thing Thing that is important to mention from this visit though is that they had confirmed that Bouvet was in fact an island. Later George Norris, who works for the same company, went to the island and actually landed on it. They also renamed it to Liverpool Island and claimed it for the British. Norris also discovered another island 70 kilometers north which he named Thompson Island. It's been a little over a hundred years now since Norris claimed Bouvet Island for the British and now some Norwegians are having their first ever expedition on the island. Not only did they survey the land and the sea, they also claimed the island for Norway. Alongside this, they changed the island's name from Liverpool Island to Bouvet Island. The UK already having a claim to the island disagreed with the claim, arguing that it already had been claimed by Norris. The British side of the argument was weakened though because it wasn't really clear if Norris stepped on Thompson Island or Bouvet Island. Side note, it would later be discovered that Thompson Island didn't even exist, making Thompson Island something called a Phantom Island. This means that Norris actually did land on Bouvet Island. What ultimately made the UK give up their claim though was that it wasn't really worth fighting for. This led to the UK renouncing their claims, leaving Bouvet Island to Norway. And although I don't have any evidence or sources to back this up, I would guess that having Bouvet would be more of a benefit than not. This is because it gives Norway a bigger EEZ and justification for claiming a part of Antarctica. Plus, I don't think anyone would want to annex the island because it wouldn't be very beneficial, and besides, I don't think the residents are going to make a big fuss over being under Norwegian control. If you'd like me to make a longer more in-depth video on Phantom Islands, please tell me in the comments and give this video a like. Another thing I want to say is the last time I posted a video, the channel was at 20 subs. And now it's triple that, so I just want to thank you guys so much for the insane support recently. With that out of the way, thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye!